Monday, July 9th, 9 a.m. Mountain Time, 2018. Guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at this gigantic dust cloud that's making its way across the Atlantic Ocean. It's gotten bigger since the last time we've talked about it, and it's moving closer and closer to the states. In fact, some of it's already here. Um, I felt like this morning we were in the middle of spring pollen season. Um, I'm very sensitive to these dust storms and dust clouds, and we're going to take a look at it here at the website. And the website you can find below in the description box, MrMBB333.com. Scroll down to the lower right-hand column. You'll see a tab that says Earth Goes East in Color. Click on that. It takes you to a link that is the Goes East Image Viewer. And you can see this thing has gotten bigger. And it's spanning a big portion of the Western Hemisphere. But I've never seen one quite this big. I've seen this before over the... The course of many years, it, it has happened, not very often though, but to see one this big, um, this is exceptionally big. I found um, evidence of it on webcams. Here's a, a webcam from Puerto Rico looking out towards the Atlantic Ocean, and you can see the clouds um, have dust in them, and quite a bit of dust. According to nullschool.net, this is a recent look at the dust particulates in the Western Hemisphere. That's a huge cloud and this is a more thin layer of dust going uh, through the Bahamas the Caribbean up into the Gulf of Mexico into Texas Louisiana it's crossing Central America and the Yucatan going up towards the western coast of the United States all of this here is dust particulates originating from the west coast of Africa the Sahara Desert Imperial Beach. This is in Southern California. You can see a haze in the sky this morning. This is a real-time look at Imperial Beach. I don't know if this is from the wildfire smoke, because this is near San Diego, um, lower uh, Southern California, or it could be a combination of both, maybe dust and the wildfire smoke. I don't know. That's a look from Puerto Rico. If you go to Google Earth, would be right in here looking towards this direction and that's where that clouds at this is a look from Cancun this morning at sunrise this camera is looking to the east slightly northeast and you can see the dust particulates in the sky during sunrise here's another look from Puerto Rico that's that huge dust cloud and once again it is exceptionally big I've never seen one quite that large you can kind of see it reflects off of the water, too. Uh, let me see if I can... There you go. See the reflection in the water? It's kind of a uh, burgundy color or dark pink. That's what those clouds look like. So, incredibly big cloud moving our way, and it seems to be getting bigger. It's been going on now for at least a couple of weeks. And I could tell uh, this morning when I woke up that there was dust in the atmosphere. I could just just feel it. I know that feeling. I, I uh, don't like the dust storms. They don't agree with me at all, and I could tell that we've got dust in our, our atmosphere for sure. This is a look at the dust particulates in the western hemisphere. The pink is the dust, and you can see it's made its way over into the South Pacific. Um, the other day, you could see it very clearly going up the eastern Pacific towards the west coast of the United States. But this pink shows it lingering over North America, up into Canada, um, predominantly out here over the Atlantic Ocean, slowly drifting west. So big heads up. If you have allergies and things like that, this dust storm is or it's not necessarily officially a dust storm, I guess. It's just a dust cloud. I guess the storm would be over here in the Sahara, and this is just a side effect of it. I don't know. But that is one big dust cloud headed our direction. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to check out the website and the new tab, the Ancient Earth Globe. I think you guys will enjoy that and it's educational. Thanks for watching. Have a super day and be safe out there guys.